This is our spring convention. You've been our special guest. You've been very popular. Uh, you have a unique design style and it's been very appealing to our guests. Can you tell something a little bit more about yourself, please? I have started origami about uh, five years ago, uh, starting creation um, because I was a sculptor before um, with recycling objects and uh, uh, um, now I'm, fa I'm the father of uh, twins and I have to change my technique and choose another subject to, to stay with her. Uh, and origami was a good thing, uh, I think. Uh, and I've started to create some models, uh, natural, natural objects uh, in origami. What was your first inspiration to pick up origami? Um, how did you come across it? When I was really young, uh, my mother uh, taught me uh, some simple models, some traditional models, a crane, uh, some boat, some plane, uh, and that's all uh, at start. After, with uh, internet, I discovered some great models uh, like the, the Eric Joiselle Rat. Um, that uh, I've folded uh, many, many times uh, when I was at school. When I started to create my model, uh, there is some inspiration come to me. Uh, m m most part of my inspiration come from Roman Diaz, uh, Eric Joisel, uh, Victor Kerjoli, and Wang Tian Kiet, Quiet, uh, because really love their work and give me a lot of inspiration in folding sequences uh, and subject. And perhaps you, you've put a lot of models in the display area and some of you brought with you here. Perhaps you could talk us through some of them and explain what influenced you, how you made it, what you wanted to achieve and whether you were successful in, in, in what you've done and, and the story behind them. Yeah, so um, this one I have, have a story because uh, this is the first model I was really proud of um, because when I started to create some model I have no technique of folding uh, or just a little technique uh, so I wanted to, to make a praying mantis but I'm, I was not able and I'm not yet able to, to fold a wall praying mantis. So I've decided uh, to, to design something new, something original, and uh, a praying mantis, what, what uh, make a praying mantis? She, she prays some insects and she has to, have to be behind something to pray the insects. So I've decided to, to make this mantis behind the leaf. Uh, she is hidden and she's waiting for an insect or a caterpillar uh, and in fact uh, if I've designed this one uh, I've designed this one behind the leaf because I have not to fold the wall print mantis and it's more easy for me to design only the head with the print legs uh, behind the leaf but also you, you, you've caught a great character. There's a lot of humour, mm. a lot of fun. I think this makes people laugh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, in a serious way. <laughs> yeah, in a serious way, because I, because I don't want to, to breast some, some, cartoon, uh, some cartoon effect in my models. But I don't know why uh, it comes. It, it's, I think it's my style, my own style. Uh, Perhaps. I don't know why. But you, you, you've really brought a life to it, with, with, yeah. with, with a character and, 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 and an attitude built into the paper. Uh, I, I want to, to breathe life in my model um, it, it, with uh, making some eyes and uh, making a lot of shape. Yes, I like shaping my models a lot, a lot. Uh, some, Sometimes I, I spend most of my time time to shape the model than to fold the model. Mm. So that led to other, other ideas? Uh, so I, um, yeah, I, I, I can show you this one uh, because uh, school is a subject I really like. 
and um, I have seen a great uh, tattoo uh, in the TV and wanted to make something like this tattoo with a snake and a skull. So uh, I have to, to find the way to, to design it uh, really quickly um, because uh, I want to, to make uh, some quick falls. I, I don't want to spend, uh, spend most of my time in pre-creasing models, in uh, designing models. I want to fold, I want to shape. So this one is a good example because it's a simple design with a lot of shape. It's uh, a design come from a fish base uh, with uh, the two larger part for make the snake and the two smaller part to, to make the school. Uh, and that's uh, mainly the, the sequence fold. Uh, and after I have to, to shape, 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 shape. Mm. But the process, it's, it's quite a classic yeah, yeah, yeah. It's important to me. It's not um, a fixed model, um, fixed model. Uh, it's uh, a model in movement, and who want to tell something to you, and there is an history behind. It's not only uh, a, a skull uh, with a snake. There is an history, um, like uh, this, this one. This one is funny also, it's a cartoon one, but there is a story because uh, uh, praying mantis, the female eats the male uh, during uh, the reproduction. Um, so I, I wanted to, to tell this story behind the sheet because I can't make uh, two wall mantis in one sheet. No, it's not possible for me. Uh, so I, I wanted to, to make something to, to show you um, something, a, a natural story uh, that happened in real life. Okay. Mm. And, and you approach other subjects. How about fantastic? Oh, um, this one. Uh, it's because uh, I have to get more and more technique of folding. So last year I um, I fold the the best Johnson ship and discover this corrugation and uh, wanted to use it in one of my model. And this uh, midwife toad uh, was a good subject to to use it. So uh, also um, one of my friend uh, Eric Vigier uh, said to me, "You have to train and discover uh, new technique uh, to add in your works." So I, I try to to discover new techniques, uh, make tessellation, make corrugation, and use this technique in my models. Fascinating and and and. Again, a moth? Uh, yeah, a uh, Charontia atropos, uh, a butterfly with a skull draw uh, on the body. Um, so, I like skull. Uh, <laughs> it, it's a nice subject for me. Um, night butterfly, um, I, I like ni night butterflies. And I wanted to make something or original. Um, Okay, there is a skull draw on this butterfly, but if I make a wall skull on this butterfly, uh, it could add some effect to to my subject and to the butterfly. And also, you can you can think it's come from um, a, a nice movie, uh, Silence on, Silent of the Lambs. Yeah. Let, let's talk a little about the design process and how you come up with a ah, uh, origami design? In my origami design, um, I most, uh, most of the time I use a traditional bases to fold my models. So I have to cho choose the good uh, traditional base uh, for, fold my, for create my model. So um, when I create a model, I have to think um, how many points I need to create my model, so um, um, I don't know how to to show you. Put it uh, perhaps with uh, this one. Uh, uh, I need 
uh, in fact one two three four five six points to design my model uh, this is in my mind after i have to choose the good traditional basis and for this one uh, kite buys wa was uh, the good traditional basis to to start my model and when when i have find a good way uh, like uh, this mantis um, I, I have found a, a great sequence of folds uh, i use this sequence of folds for many 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 models so uh, after this one uh, perhaps uh, 10 model was born with the same sequence of folds with, with different creatures or the with different creatures or the um, holding uh, something else. for example I, I, I have a, a tree with an owl uh, and this is the same sequence of fold uh, for the tree with the owl uh, and um, some other design uh, yeah this is the same sequence of right. folding yeah the same <laughs> And so a lot of your work is, is how it's folded rather than the model itself. I, I, I try, I really try to, to be original because I, I don't want to make only a fox, only a bat. Um, I want to try to, to, to make a specific bat because there is a lot of bats, there is a lot of biodiversity uh, and I want to, to show this. Uh, so there is not only a bat uh, like you can see in, um, in Disney movie. Uh, there is plenty of bats. There is um, gr a great arid bat. Uh, there, is, there is plenty of owl. Not uh, only the owl you can see in most of the subject in origami. There is barn owl. There is great honored owl. Um, there is many, many subjects, many new subjects never fall before to, to create in origami. Do you have a list of uh, models? I, I, I have some ideas, uh, but um, I will now say you what I have some ideas now. <laughs> 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 because um, I have many ideas, but when I, when I show one model, uh, behind there is uh, 10 models I never show because I'm not proud of. So uh, behind one model, 10 models never, never go to, to be show and uh, stay in a box. Perhaps in two or three years I will uh, pull out the box and say, oh, perhaps it's a good idea, but not yet. <laughs> so Sebastian, thank you. It's been great to meet you. We've really enjoyed this discussion and your time as a guest here at our, our convention. Um, I look forward to seeing the new designs you come up with and continue to inspire the origami community. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>